One of the most important things of being a leader is building trust with your people so you can achieve your mission, your vision, and your dreams. So you can actually achieve what it is you set out to go do as a leader. But we can see it right now in our world. Trust and leadership can be a very explosive thing. You can have it one minute, and it can be gone the next. Well, today we're going to talk about leadership and trust. So stick around. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. And I'm sharing from my own 25 years as a leader. I've been a professional motivational speaker, a broadcaster, a pastor, and I have led in many different organizations. And I have succeeded in building great trust at times, and I have blown it gloriously in several occasions as well. And today I want to help you to learn how to have that trust so you can better do what you need to do. So, Hit that bell, subscribe so you never ever miss a video, and also join us in the conversation. For example, today we're talking about leadership and trust. How would you rate your level of trust with your organization, with the team that you lead? Do you have a 10 right now? Do you feel like you're flying really great and your trust from them to you is woo? Or would you say that you might be lacking a little bit and you've lost some ability in trust and you need to regain it back? See, trust is kind of like a poker game. You have all those chips out on the table, and you want to gain as much trust as you can. You have to play some trust. You have to put some things down. You have to show what you have, and hopefully win and gain more trust. Trust is built over time. Trust is not automatically given. Trust is earned. And you have to earn it, and then hold it, and maintain it, and grow it. So, how do you do it? Tip number one, I would say, is that you lead from a value system. I believe a value system of leadership is so important to building trust. What are the things you value as a leader that you want your organization or your team to value? When you communicate that, they will understand. We're going to be people of integrity. We're going to be people that strive to help and love one another. We are going to be people... That, that, that dream big dreams. What are your values that you have? And as you live those values out as the top leader, your people will embrace the values. And when you achieve them and they see them in action, again, when you get the win, they see them, you are going to add to your trust. And they're going to believe you're worth following. Now, the second one is communication. I talk a lot about communication because I think leadership and communicating are forever intertwined together. You must be a great communicator if you are going to be a great leader. And to be a great leader, you must communicate extremely well. It will take at least seven times, at least seven times, to communicate one idea you have for your organization or team. You're going to have to over-communicate. And that doesn't mean the same way over and over. You're going to have to be communicating in different ways. People hear through hearing. People hear through seeing. People hear through sound. So, emails, posters, uh, creative videos, uh, meetings where you get together and talk and share and pour your heart out. Communication is so important that you have to over-communicate. Leaders, when you are sick of communicating it, you've almost communicated it enough. You have to go beyond your response that I am sick of talking about this to really know that your team has got it. They trust you and they believe in it and then they will follow it. Now, the third and final one is that you have a history. It's good or bad as a leader. We're always building our history, always building our legacy as a leader. So look behind you a little bit and figure out, do I have a good history to stand on? As a leader... Have I made good building blocks? Do I good have good poker chips in the game? Because if you look back and see you've got lesser trust, you've blown it a few times, you've rolled through people and didn't communicate, and they wondered why it went the way it went. If you don't have the foundational building blocks, you need to go back and rebuild the trust that you've already lost. If you have the trust, if you have a great foundation, 
that I would encourage you to continue to rise it up and take it to the next level. Show them that your trust is sound and it's never going to change. The fourth one would be consistency. Be consistent as a leader. Let them know you are going to do what you said you were going to do, how you are going to do it, and when you get the win, celebrate that win so they know it was worth going on the great adventure. And that will build more trust because they see it's not about the project, it's really about the people, and it's really about the achievement together. And people will love that and build around that. And trust is built on those relationships, not just on the one, two, threes that we checked off a list and went to the next one. So what do you think? How good of a leader are you? Where is your trust level at? Or perhaps, what are some other pointers that you would give to help bring trust to your leadership or to others? We would love to learn from you, as well as what I've been sharing right here. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe, and don't forget that bell. And if you want to learn more about leadership, check out one of the links. I have several videos on leadership right here on this channel. Check them out and see if there's ways that I can help coach you and encourage you as a leader. Until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. God bless. Have a great week.